Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King. Today we celebrate the second Sunday of Advent. There will be a second collection for the Retirement Fund for Religious. Please take a moment to silence your cell phones and electronic devices. And please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Once again, we call upon God's divine mercy, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, and proclaim to her that her service is at an end, her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the desert prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings, cry it out at the top of your voice. Jerusalem, herald of good news, Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock, in his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. 
Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths, all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were, beg and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey, and this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. I always find it interesting to preach during Advent because to me, my way of thinking, it's a little bit unique because we're, I always tend to talk about Christmas and they're two distinct seasons. It's a little bit different, I think, than Easter and uh, Holy Week and leading up to all of that. Um, I say that because we are waiting once again to celebrate the incarnation of Christ, an incarnation, a fancy word, which means the word made flesh that Jesus comes into the world in a very simple, humble way. Simple, humble surroundings being placed in a manger where animals eat a trough. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, 
comes into the world to bring salvation. But first, he comes as a newborn babe. He, Jesus, reminds us as he grows older, reminds us what Isaiah says in the first reading, to bring comfort, to bring comfort to his people. Comfort doesn't mean that we're always comfortable. It means that we're at peace, an inner desire to search out for the peace that grounds us in the word of God made flesh. So no matter what's going on around us, good or bad or whatever, does it, whatever it is, whatever life gives us, and it's always unpredictable, we are at peace because God brings us comfort through the Word made flesh, the newborn babe, Jesus Christ. We celebrate the second Sunday of Advent as we listen to the second letter of St. Peter, who reminds us that God is patient with us, that God always loves and always forgives, and he reminds us that there is no time with God. We are very calendar-oriented. We want to know what we're doing every day, every day, and I'm the same way. So that's a part of life. Sometimes I think it's a part of original sin. But be that as it may, there is no time with God. He gathers us around the table of the Lord once again so that we can ponder the meaning of Advent. What does it really mean to you and to me that the Word became flesh? What does it really mean? John the Baptist tries to explain it to people, and he says, There is one mightier than I who is yet to come. Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. And even those words didn't convince everyone, but they were intrigued. They came to the Jordan to be baptized. John the Baptist reminds us that there is one greater to come. This famous saying of John the Baptist that we must decrease so that Jesus can increase in our hearts minds and in our souls and very our very bodies we are participating in the word made flesh when we celebrate the word which we've do, we're doing and we celebrate the sacred banquet of holy communion we tar participate in that mystery of faith we participate in that word made flesh we participate in the life and death of resurrection of Jesus Christ. All of that comes together at the altar of God, which gives us comfort and peace. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, and the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, <coughs> light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gracious God, we humbly ask you to hear our prayers of faith, our prayers of petition. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all bishops and priests, that they will shepherd the church with wisdom and loving compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil servants and government officials, that they will provide comfort to those who seek assistance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who dwell in residences of assisted living and extended care, and for their caregivers, that they provide a nurturing environment of loving patience, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all expectant parents anxious for a new child, or those who hold vigil with loved ones facing death, that they find peace after hope-filled waiting, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of our community, especially those who are unable to be with us this day, that we all may faithfully await new heavens and a new earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for the deceased members of Christ the King Parish, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, God, for hearing our prayers, those spoken, those within our hearts. Please grant us a peaceful day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, goes on in the eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament will take place on Sunday, December 10th from 5 p.m. until midnight. Christmas Eve falls on a Sunday this year. As a result, the mass schedule for that weekend has been changed. Please check the bulletin for the updated schedule. Encounter Jesus, a holy hour with a talk and praise and worship music is this Thursday, the 14th, starting at 7 p.m. Today is our parish blood drive held in Tui Hall from 8.30 until 12.30. If you have time, please consider donating an hour and a pint of your blood. Walk-ins are welcome. Ladies, if you have not already bought your ticket to Encounter Mary, tables are filling up fast. This special evening for women hosted by Christ the King on January 6th is sure to leave you inspired and renewed for the new year. Registration closes December 17th. More details can be found in the bulletin. The Knights of Columbus Charity Breakfast is on Sunday, December 10th, today, 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Northside Events Center. The theme is Breakfast with Santa. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and, to ho and hold firm to the things in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.